We're at the final of the uh, Eat Game Awards, the presentation sort of gala dinner with all our finalists here of all the categories. And Kia was the winner of our Basque and Highland Game venison canapé competition. Had the cook-off a couple of weeks ago in Bristol and hers was a standout dish. They were all great, great entries, but we, the judges decided hers was the winner. So part of her prize is to come and prepare 250 of them tonight. She's taken venison mince and got really creative with it. Seeing what Kia has done in terms of winning the competition and presenting the venison mints in such a different way to people for the younger generation is really exciting and the awards process was great to see how much excitement and innovation there is in, in the younger generation and that's the grassroots for us to get more people cooking with venison. We need to start from the young chefs that are going out there into industry. It's all homemade stuff so to produce 250 tonight is, is an impressive uh, workload by her and, and great experience for her going forward. Me and Roy are just, well we're her commie chefs effectively, we're being told by her what to do so we hope we can deliver it how she wants it delivered. We've been looking at how we scale up the recipe so that we can serve it to 200, 250 people. Um, obviously for the competition we're making four or five portions so it's a different ball game for 200. I've never cooked for 200 people before, so it's really scary cooking for that large amount. I mean, it's okay to get five canapes together, but when you get in 250, it's a bit challenging. I'm from the Caribbean and we have something that we call a Jamaican patty in the Caribbean. And I wanted to basically bring all the flavours of a Jamaican patty inside of the dish, which was made out of um, dal and flour. We did a tamarind sauce. And then we just pan fried the venison because we didn't want to really mess with the venison taste because it's quite a good meat. We did a coconut artichoke yogurt, um, some pickles, scotch bonnet peppers, and we garnish it with some fried coriander. I think she's done fantastically well today, Keir. She's done a lot of work all week for this. She's really prepped hard. She's done three days of preparation solid uh, to get everything ready for today. So really proud of her. She's done an amazing job today. I'd like to invite Keir up on stage. Everything about tonight was about learning and developing myself. I can see myself in the future going on and be a chef and continue cooking and bringing Caribbean cuisine alive and hopefully everyone enjoys it and love it as much as I do.